Well, this story is new at 10 o'clock. A Colorado Springs hunting guide is expressing concerns tonight about the reintroduction of wolves and how that will impact the big game hunting industry right here in Colorado Springs. Cardio 13's Emily Coffey is live in our newsroom tonight after talking with that hunting guide who says the gray wolves could put his like livelihood at risk. Emily. Sean, this decision to reintroduce gray wolves dates back to 2020 when the people of Colorado approved it. Just today, a judge ruled against a lawsuit trying to put a hold on the wolves release, which means that the negative and positive impacts of reintroducing these wolves will be felt. To Jim Johnson, introducing an apex predator into the Colorado wilderness has dual meanings. They hunt for sport. Some people think they only hunt to eat. That's not, that's a fiction. That's a fallacy. Jim has been a big game guide for over 20 years, stewarding the land he was given by his mother. His ranch, close to Beaver Creek, is also a cattle ranch, just an hour away from the springs. Pays almost nothing, but you're out in the wilderness all the time, so it's very, very gratifying. And reintroducing wolves could decimate the thriving business he loves. Well, they kill everything, wolves, uh, except the moose, but they, they kill the uh, deer also, so no, I mean, that's, there's not going to be much to hunt. Colorado Parks and Wildlife acknowledge that these new wolves could hurt those wildlife populations, but they're not sure just how much yet. And in the meantime, they'll be tracking the 30 to 50 wolves they introduce west of the Continental Divide with these GPS collars. CPW itself says that they range 22 to 140 miles right after introduction. So to think that they wouldn't come into the Pikes Peak region is, is uh, foolish. For now, Colorado Parks and Wildlife has mitigation efforts in mind, compensating ranchers for cattle they've lost because of wolf predation. And there are other non-lethal ways to prevent wolves from hurting livestock. You can put bells on fences. You can put up like kind of wolf scarecrows. You can put riders out. Uh, but again, all at great expense. But all that doesn't change the way these wolves could impact the hunting industry. Worth $843 million, according to the Colorado Wildlife Council. It, it would devastate rural Colorado, absolutely devastate us. So we need to have animals to hunt, and if there's no animals to hunt, there's no hunting. According to Colorado Parks and Wildlife, the gray wolves will be released by the end of the month. They wouldn't release the locations where the wolves will be placed to make sure that those operations remain safe. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Coffey, Cardio 13.